Right, here we are on Nimbus LE and our uh, pink Terran player here in the top right. He's playing for, oh geez, I forgot the name already. Maybe we can check his clan logo, but he's Shy Moon. And it's Mistral Multigaming. Okay, his opponent playing as the blue Terran in the top left is EXE. He's playing for Monolith. See if we get those uh, early gas shenanigans again. I think that that was mainly TVP. I mean, it could happen here as well. And it looks like it will be. I mean, just send a single SCV up there. Built the um, first command center. Uh, command center, uh, supply depot, of course. And there's the GLJF coming out. Refinery. Almost done for him, while EXE uh, still sitting on a lot of minerals, and we'll go for uh, CC first here. And there's the barracks coming out for Shy Moon. Let's see what he's gonna do with that gas. Maybe her early Hellions, but I proposed that again in the PVT before and uh, didn't quite work out. So um, maybe just for the Hellions or early stim timing could work as well. And there's the early command center for um, for our friend EXE. And you know what? Considering um, we do have this backdoor expansion here on Nimbus, I think it is going to be an early hell, uh, early uh, medevac. Just for some drop play, because you usually think, okay, I'm I'm safe, I'm I'm entirely safe up there, and then just drop in here, get rid of gets rid of a lot of SCVs, and uh, yeah. You're in a good spot. There's the factory, and he's still mining with three workers in the gas. Uh, no gas so far for EXE, but he's closing everything off. Uh, gets the second barracks, which I think is a pretty sweet move considering he went CC first. Now the thing is, what do you do as far as bunkers are concerned? Uh, you want to keep your natural safe, since it is that little, um, yeah, it's in a semi-safe spot. But you also want to keep your front safe. So, so what do you do? Uh, do you sacrifice a little bit of your early game economy um, for for uh, solid scan timing right now? Maybe check out what's going on. And uh, Shy Moon is going for that starport and already started with his uh, refinery over here. So that's a lot of gas coming in already, and kind of uh, points to a banshee timing for me. Ooh, SCV was blocked out here by Shy Moon. Good job. Good job, get ready, just getting rid of that. And uh, TechLab also coming out, so it looks like a uh, Banshee here for Shy Moon. And EXE, is, is he in a good spot? Well, he has a lot of barracks. Um, however, um, he's uh, too good of a macro player, getting rid of all of his energy just on time. But he has two command centers, and I think since they are, uh, well, not really decently split on their energy, both of them pretty much get. Uh, 50 energy at the exact same time. Oh, wow. What the heck is this? He's, he's going for a raven? Okay, this is, uh, this is some new crazy shit going on. That's uh, pretty nuts. Not, uh, not seen this so early. But maybe you guys have. Uh, if, if you do, uh, tell me the reason behind this. I mean... I could see a Hunter Seeker missile working, but I don't know. I mean, if your opponent has some decent splitting, or is it just for safety? But for safety reasons, he went for a way too late command center. Does the switch again? Okay, I don't know. Maybe there's a specific reasoning for him. Um, okay, I'm going for uh, the first and the very first siege tank. There's a scan coming out. And perfect timing as well. As uh, well, he gets to see. Okay, tech lab is working. He's probably thinking, okay, um, it's gonna be stim. Really, he is going for the um, combat shield, and he also saw the factory. Yeah, you're right, Kazanix. Uh, right now, it looks like uh, SC2 dead game. Those prophecies have finally fulfilled themselves. But I think it's it's still kind of fun to watch every once in a while. I just the, the like the stories overall don't really interest me that much anymore. But 
Hopefully they make something happen with Legacy of the Void, right? Okay, he is continuing and going into Hellions now. Uh, this is some really weird play coming out of Shy Moon. I can't really put a finger on it, like what the heck he's going to do here. It looks like mech, and in that sense it does make it does make perfect sense to go for the early Raven. But I don't know. With the Raven, uh, you can be safe uh, against mass marauders that could uh, somehow get close to your siege tanks. But he's also pretty low on a siege tank count, just now going for a second siege tank. It's kind of weird. But uh, Blue Flame Hellions are on the way. He's pr still producing a c decent number of Hellions, but has not made a move uh, to get a third CC yet. Actually, this is one of the first times he's ever moved out. Uh, he did have a single scan placed into EXE's uh, main base there. But both of these players kind of just staying back. Bio players incoming, of course, for EXE. And there's the first drop attempt. Let's see if it's gonna do anything here. I mean, there are two siege tanks for Shy Moon, and not the best placement for him to actually get on top of that uh, hidden expand. But maybe he'll he'll try like a long way around. Oh jeez, the drop is spotted. Perfect placement here. <laughs> of course he should have known this. But maybe uh, this is just the bait out. Maybe he just wants to check, okay, is there a third CC already? And if so, maybe I can do a little bit of damage. But uh, I gotta say, I mean, this is overall a little bit unorthodox play coming out of both these players. A little bit laid back. Uh, this marine might be on course to... Yeah, he's gonna spot those medivacs once again. So he is probably not gonna do all that much. And that's a good hit squad here. Lots of vikings to uh, get rid of that drop. But wow, look at that. You didn't realize this was coming in. EXE going for a nice little harassment. Getting rid of a couple of SCVs here, but also losing a lot of his army. Those blue flame hellions really doing some good work here. But not quite enough to clear everything up. But with that final medevac gone, I think he does have enough now. So let's check out how many... Wow, 28 workers? Jeez, all of the... Wow, what a, an amazing job here by EXE. He used that drop, side on the, uh, the drop on the left side to get rid of the Vikings on the right side and then dropped the entire right hand side here. That was pretty nuts, but he's losing a lot of the army here as well. Can he get on top of the second last siege tank? Yes, he can. That's a lot of auto turrets. Those sure dispel, <laughs> dispel any incoming forces. But the next medevac is coming in. And there's still a medevac just wreaking havoc in the main. A uh, couple of marauders still left alive. But he can't do anything against those vikings yet. Oh, can he stop the upgrade from finishing? Oh, that's actually the armor he's still building. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind then. It's a couple of units still in there. And Shy Moon down to 36 supply. Almost no workers left alive. Seven workers still in there. But that's about it. And he has pretty much no army, uh, at least to pose a decent, decent threat here. And no army, no workers. Um, that's not a good spot to be in. There comes the next drop. I think EXE is definitely gonna just drop into death here. Let's have a look at the resources lost. A lot more even than you would think. EXE lost maybe one and a half thousand less. Uh, but the thing is, he still has 61 workers. So he can just sacrifice everything he wants to in here. And eventually Shy Moon um, will run out of options. He's already quite low on minerals. He doesn't have all that many SCVs. And that's uh, still a lot of EXE in this main base. There's even more coming in. He's gonna do another drop attempt here on the natural. Wow, those auto turrets really do help out. But uh, yeah, he's just gonna keep his units safe here in the back. And we'll probably... Uh, yep, he's gonna get rid of that orbital. Stimming it to death. And there's the GG. EXE moving on.